Roadcaster Pro, Focusrite Vocaster, Tascam Mixcast are just a few of the products you can use to add background music to your live stream in EVMUX. Until now. Tell me more. Built into the EVMUX studio for both pro and dynamic scenes is an option for background music and sound effects. You can play a song and control the volume, or stack applause, drum roll, and a DJ air horn all with ease. I like that. It's your boy Kirk Nugent here for EV Mux, your live streaming sweet spot. And in this video, we're looking at background music. So here we are in the EV Mux studio and we're looking at the dashboard. We're looking at a dynamic scene. And right here, right across the top, you see pro scene layers, you see graphics and styling, and that third icon, that's the one. Let's zoom in on it. Let's make sure you can see that thing clearly. Music and sound effects, that is the one. We're going to click on that, and that's where we're going to hang our hat for the duration of our video today. This is the latest feature added to the EVMUX studio. It is, sits right here in dynamic scenes, but it is no different if you were to go to, say, a pro scene. So let's select a pro scene. You can see that this sound effects screen is still here. We're going to go back to the dynamic scene, just kind of sit here for a little bit. The first thing in the music and sound effects, of course, is sound effects. They have a section of them right here at the top that you can go through. Um, six of them, to be exact, that sit on your main screen. You can swap these out but you have a maximum of six that sit here on this screen and so we can play an air horn you can hear what that sounds like but maybe that air horn is just a little too loud you hit these three dots on the side you can adjust you can click this option that says volume bar click that and then the volume bar shows on the sound effect let's do that again hit the three dots and then select the option that has the volume bar. Let's do it yet again. Hit the three dots, select that option, and it gives you the volume bar. And so we can pull this down, pull this down, pull this down so that it's not as obtrusive in your live show. And you want to play with that. Get a feel for what's too loud, what's not too loud. Hit the record button, play it back, listen to it yourself as if you're a viewer, maybe even go live and listen to it while you're watching on one of the platforms just to get a feel for what that user or viewer experience is like. Then you can actually go through and replace these. There are multiple sound effects built into the system. And so all you have to do is click on, the, let's say we wanna replace this magical twinkle one, right? Yeah. But we want to replace that one. <laughs> so we hit the three dots and we say replace sound. When we replace sound, you get a whole new dialogue. You can search for some of the sounds that you have in here um, and you have a number of them. You can see all of them here. These are the media, the public media is what comes with the system. Uh, but you can also upload your own right here on this icon. It says upload new. You click that op option and then you just browse on your computer to find wherever your sound effects are. And to be clear, these are all going to be MP3 files. So this is compatible with MP3 files. So keep that in mind. For sound effects, however, you do have a bit of a limitation in terms of the length. So keep that in mind as well. Well, I already uploaded three different sound effects that you can see here. I'm going to go ahead and replace it with this one. And so now instead of the twinkle, we actually have Mario dies. Let's do what our, at our volume bar, pull that sound down just a little bit, and then let's hear what that sounds like. <laughs> familiar sound for anybody that's from my era uh, but you can go ahead you can uh, click on another one let's say you don't want the crowd applause you can click here you can click replace sound and you can select something else right let's say we want to put in this one the the got em, uh sound effect oh I, I like to make sure that i have my audio set right first and then Last thing I want to show you in the sound effects section before we move on to background music, uh, which is just below, is that you can stack them. So if I want to play the air horn, the got em, the drum bell, the doorbell, the drum snare, the sad trumpet, even Mario dies, I can play all of them and they will all play all at this. So you can stack your, your sound effects. 
no matter what is going on, you can add this to your stream and really punch up the engagement and make, make it an engaging show for your viewers. And one of the things I also wanted to mention right before we move on to background music is if you press a sound effect more than once it doesn't start it oh it doesn't stop the sound effect it actually starts it over again so keep that in mind now on to background music now i want to be clear it's it, even though this section says music the the thinking is the purpose is to play this as background music now maybe you are using this during your countdown clock the beginning of the stream or something like that and you want to have that turned up you can do that by clicking this wheel right here right at the top of the music section you have the wheel you can click that and you can adjust your volume for your music i'm going to keep it pretty low um next thing we can just play some music this one is six minutes and 51 seconds so we can play that and so that background music is there. I think that that's a good volume level. Uh, but again, if you want to bring that down some, you can bring it down right here. If you try to play more than one at a time, it just stops the other. OK, it just stops the one and it plays the other. You can't play two of them at the same time. So keep that in mind. Um, so you, you have this here. But the other thing that I do like is that you can fast forward or as they say, scrub to a specific part of the song. Let's say there's a specific a specific spot you want to scrub to. You can do that by just scrubbing right to that part of the song and you can get right to that particular piece and play that into your live show if you so desire. Um, you have several of them in this playlist here, and this is not your limitation. You can add as many to this as you want by clicking edit list. So we click edit list here and we do have some of my uploads, of course, and you have public media all the ones that are have the blue check mark are the ones that are in the list so if i wanted to add some of these other ones i could do that in that same way remember i said that some of the sound effects have or the sound effects section rather has limitation on time so if you wanted to play a slightly longer sound effect like this one here you would simply add it to your music section which i'm going to do right now i'm also going to add this one which is a theme song for my show and i'm going to upload a new sound effect. This is uh, a, a one that my uh, that I use on my show all the time, Kirk Track. I'm gonna click OK on that one. But once you add it, right? We've uploaded this one here, right? So it says Kirk Track right here. But notice it does not have a blue check mark. So we want to make sure we go through and click that one. So once it has the blue check mark, we can click done, and you'll see that all three of these new ones have been added to the system. So if I press play on that one. Now I'm at home. This is my song for my show, and you can do the same thing for your show. Uh, similarly, this is another song that I use on my show. Having this in the background could really punch up the, 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 the production value of my live show. And then again, for my longer sound effects, I can have that in the six system right here as well. And of course, I just want to upload the uh, bring the volume up on that. Uh, but that is the idea behind using sound effects and background music in EV Mux. Thank you. I really needed this. Background music and sound effects are in that nice to have category, right? Not necessarily required, but it adds a polish and sets the tone for your viewers if done right. And that, my friends, is the final point. Don't overdo it. EVMUX has given us all this power, but how it's implemented is a question of how intentional we're going to be. Be intentional about your viewer experience by learning more best practices, tips, tricks from videos like these.